They say the early bird gets the worm. It's time to taste the pain. What's up, everybody? My name is Boss. I'm a gardener and a lover of all things spicy. Welcome to another episode of Taste the Pain. Today, we are tasting Arabibi Gusano. No idea if I said that right. This is a pepper from Bolivia, and its name is actually... I think gusano means worm, right? It looks like a little worm. Uh, it's pretty cool, though. They ripen to a nice creamy white color. They're small little peppers. I have not had these before. My plant this year was a afterthought kind of plant. I put it into a, like, I don't know, 10, 12-inch pot. Not even that big. I think 10 to 8-inch pot. And it just grew. And I set it out on the patio. I didn't harden it off or anything. It dried out several times. I got a few pods off of it. But I let them sit there for a little too long because there was a lot going on in the garden this year. So these are overripe a tiny bit. This one's not too, too bad. It still has a little bit of firmness. This one has actually started to dry out. So um, I should have eaten these at least two weeks ago. I was just talking to some folks on the pepper lovers community. They were talking about how it tastes almost like, what did they say, pledge or pine sol or something. It's very citrusy and interesting, but also supposedly really hot. That's really all I know about this pepper. I got these from... I think I got these from Danger Bros out of Canada. Uh, almost almost positive. If not, I'll edit this out and then not leave a link below. But if so, look, look down in the description. <laughs> Alright, I talked enough. I think we just need to get down to taste in this thing. So we're going to eat this one that is still mostly firm. You can see, though, it's getting a little rough at the calyx. Let's slice her open. Not a lot to look at inside. This has one or two seeds. I haven't looked in the other half yet. Looks like there's one on this side. Not a ton of flesh or meat to this thing, but supposedly going to be hot. All right, well, let's taste it. All right, so I've got a little bit of a seasonal allergy thing happening here and plugging up my sinuses, which is great. Let's see if Arabibi Gusano can fix that for me. All right, so it has a very unique flavor. Oh, there's the heat. Um, it's not real hot. But it's there. It did hit directly on the back of my throat. A lot of times, you know, you'll feel that burn on your tongue or your cheeks first. I still feel almost nothing in my mouth, but my throat is burning. That's really strange. And that flavor, though, is super unique. I don't know that I would call it pine salt or whatever the guys on the Pepper Lovers were talking about, but what I will say is that it tastes like it's part of a dish, meaning like, like it, it tastes like it's multiple ingredients put together, not just a pepper. It almost has a little bit of like an oniony flavor, like if you cooked peppers and onions and a few other things I can't quite put my tongue on together into some sort of like a stew or even like a salsa. It has a more complex flavor. That's what I'm trying to say. Pretty cool, though. Um, try the rest of this just to see. I mean, I don't know. Maybe, again, because it's a little overripe. It doesn't have the same, like, ultra citrus that people have talked about. It is hot, but not, like, not overwhelming. Again, it went right to the back of my throat. A uh, tiny little bit on the side of my tongue this time, but most of that heat went right into my throat, so... That's interesting kind of characteristic, at least for me. Um, it really, to me, kind of has a little bit of like a caramelized onion, like a sweet flavor, but not that traditional fruity sweet. It's really more of a fall time delicious stew kind of flavor. I don't know. I'm impressed. I wish I would have eaten those earlier. I also need to take the time to plant a proper Aribibi Gusano next year so that I can get a good harvest because a full plant of decently hot peppers with a creamy white color when they're ripe would make a delicious and awkward hot sauce. 
next year. That's it for this episode of Taste the Pain. We will be back soon. There's a couple more things from my garden I want to eat this year, uh, but we're about at the end for 2022. Check out the Alphabet of Heat. Every week there is a new video coming out for each letter of the alphabet and a pepper representing that letter. I will be back. And remember, plants help us grow. Peace. Hey, we've got some awesome new merch. Stickers, phone cases, pillows, tote bags, shirts, you name it, we've got it. And the profits go to garden charities. Links in the description. Bye.